we have finally made it to Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman is a tender port. We're pretty close to the actual port where they, uh, where we're gonna get off. But a tender port is one of those types of ports where the ship can't dock at the the pier because the area isn't uh, large enough for it. So they instead bring up these little boats, as you can see, coming up here, and we will hop on one of these and then tender over to the dock, which is pretty close to us. Tender ports, uh, sometimes they can be challenging just because you might have to go a bit of a distance in the tender boat, but this port, it looks like uh, it's, it's really close, so. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to protect the, the sea life and the marine life out here. I know the Green Cayman didn't have a, like a port or cruise ships coming into the island for the longest time. So in order for, for cruise ships to be here and continue to protect nature, I think that's one of the regulations. I don't mind tender ports uh, when they're this close to, to shore. As you can see, it's only it will probably be like a minute or so um, of a ride. But yeah, we're heading down in a minute. As part of the retreat, you get priority disembarkation on tender ports. We have a meeting point. We're just waiting to hear that we're clear to go. We head down to the masquerade or to the, the I don't know, the steakhouse, I think it is? Yeah, it's a steakhouse for us. Our tender has been called. So usually they do tender groups, you got to get a ticket. But this time, since we're in a retreat, we didn't need to get a ticket. We just waited at the steakhouse and we got called right before 10. And here we are at Destination Gateway, ready to tender to Grand Cayman. Are you excited? Very. Yeah, this is our first time at Grand Cayman and it looks promising from the outside. So let's see. You can go ahead. No Welcome to the Grand Cayman. First steps in at Grand Cayman. Morning. Morning. So here, it's where you will meet up for excursions. We don't have any excursions right now, so we're gonna find out what we're gonna do. But the port, it's, it's small in comparison to other uh, ports that we've been on. But it seems like they're very organized in terms of their excursions. They have Welcome to Snappers, which is a bar and grill. We might stop here on our way back. I hope they take cards, because our cash load, it's a little limited right now. But it seems like they have the machines, so we might be back later. And then, of course, you get your stores, more gift shops, and then we're out to the, the strip area. So we'll see. Let's see what we're gonna do. Good morning. All right. Seven Mile Beach. Where to? Let's Two walk. Miles Two miles, it says? Two miles. All right, so we're, I think we're gonna run it, so I'll let you guys go. But cannot wait to show you the beach. Are you ready? All right, so we have run almost two miles looking for a beach, and I think we found it. Public beach access. All right, let's do this. We're almost there.
I finally made it to Seomao Beach, or at least what we think is Seomao Beach. It pretty much stands from all the way up the front of the island to all the way down there, seven miles long. But we chose this area because it's closer to the port and it's quiet for now. And after about a two mile walk or run, we made it to Coral Beach. Coral Beach is quiet right now. It's a little sandy and it's beautiful. It's, it's like nice blues and greens. But we'll do the walk again. Probably not. It, it's pretty hot in here, but it was worth it just to get to this like private beach. It was nice. It's a beautiful day here at Cape Cayman Islands. We spent some time at Coral Beach. Was it Coral Beach? Coral Beach. Yeah, yeah it was on the um, on the south end of uh, Seven Mile Beach. So yeah, it's about a two mile walk from uh, the port. We ran it. It wasn't that bad. It was hot. Let me tell you, it was hot. If you want to walk it, make sure that you're hydrated and that you bring the right shoes because it was hot. But we made the mistake of like pulling it into like the hotel public area beaches and eh, wasn't that good. So make sure to go as far down as you can, closer to Coral Beach or to Coral Beach and, and, and beyond because it's a little rocky. Yeah, it was a bit rocky in the water. It was a nice time, but if you could even go further than we did, I would recommend trying to. Yeah, now we're heading back. We're just waiting for the tender to leave and yeah, I'm hungry, so we're gonna be seeking lunch. Time to eat. It's a four day, so it should be a little quieter. Let's start from this way, this side. Oh. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Never mind, it's not quiet. People stay on the ship? We can sit somewhere else. We can sit here for now and then have lunch, and then after lunch, we can uh, decide on something else. We found a nice table here at the Sun Deck Lounge. The pool's right there, the bar's right here, and we're waiting for lunch. What a nice view, of course. Burger has arrived. Nice juicy burger with fries. Fast forward to almost 5 o'clock and we are still in Grand Cayman. They're just waiting for a couple more people and we should be starting our way to Bimini Bahamas we have a day at sea tomorrow it's a long day to get to Bimini and then we will dock at the Bahamas for our last port call they're just getting ready to go because I see the pilot over there you see it and then there's one more tender there and I don't see any other tender boat coming so we should be moving in the next few minutes or so it's a beautiful day here after lounging at the retreat lounge, we came back to the cabin, took a little bit of a nap, and now we have freshened up and getting ready for the night. Because tonight is white night, white party under the stars if the weather's nice, and it will be a lot of fun. We made it here to the magic carpet. The magic carpet is this really cool piece of the ship that comes off the side. As you can see here, you can kind of see into the ocean and what's really cool about it is it doubles as a tender port but uh it's a really great place to watch a sail away so we, we've come out here now this is i think our second or third sail away we've been like really close to the magic carpet and usually they serve drinks and stuff like that it does go up and down so when they use it as a tender port they'll put it down toward the water so it'll be down in like tech i think it's four uh, they also do do dinner on it on deck four sometimes depending on what the seas are like and stuff like that they do never move it unless the ship is is stationary. So it looks like it's gonna be staying up here tonight. We're back to Illuminate for dinner. Let's see what they have on the menu today. Signatures will stay the same. I'll probably get the spicy passion. It's a pretty nice 
martini. It's based on uh, passion fruit, it's delicious. And then for appetizers, I had octopus today, so I'm gonna choose the octopus. And then the chicken liver custard, that sounds interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but it sounds good. And then for the main courses, they have a couple signature ones, the ricotta, cavatelli, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Um, I might do a chicken, a chicken breast or the short ribs. Oh, I might do the short ribs or both because I haven't had any chicken on this cruise ship. Um, and then here's the, the signature uh, dishes that will be here every day of our sailings. cameras on but cannot see me <laughs> I just want to share a couple dinner uh, feedback that we had today dinner was amazing nothing to complain about the chicken was good the appetizer the octopus guys that was delicious and then the ribeye was pretty good um, it, it came out of the bone well it wasn't a ribeye it was shore ribs ribeye was yesterday the shore ribs just came off the bone you can see it here on the picture, it, it was delicious. How was your dinner? My dinner was excellent. So I had a duck infused pasta. Um, it, I don't even remember what it was called, but it was really, really good. And it was my first time having an Italian style type meal on the ship, and I was really, really craving it. So that was awesome. And then I also had a mushroom consomme as my appetizer, which was really good as well. I, I, I'm obsessed with mushrooms now. As I've gotten older, I love like cooked mushrooms. They're really good. And what do you have for dessert? Cheesecake. This is what, night four? Yeah, I think we're at night four and I've had a cheesecake every night. I, I love cheesecake. And the service. The service we have gotten at Lumine has been outstanding. Like, they have gone above and beyond. I hope they see this because they really deserve a shout out because they were so hard and they're so personalized. They have made our cruise so, so relaxed. But enough about dinner. Now we're at the club for a show called The Jazz Join. This is a very interactive show with dancing, comedy. Uh, they have some musical stuff down there. So it, it seems like they're gonna interact with the public seems pretty fun and I cannot wait to see it. The clubs open every night and they sometimes host shows like this one. Today I think it's, a, it's special. I, I like that they're hosting like an actual production here. <laughs> but the other night we came to the club around like midnight and <laughs> it was just like a couple couples dancing and it was a little awkward <laughs> so we left. So if you're in a celebrity ship, I don't think nightlife it's like the thing because people there's so much to do during the daytime that people get tired and just go to bed but yeah here we go Oh, you know, I live in the spotlight. 